Hi, uh, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Can't stay away. Hey, YouTube. Uh, this is uh, Fuzzy Motion. We know we told you we, we, we wouldn't be back for a while, but uh, we, we, lied. we lied. We went to see the movie Prometheus and uh, saw it in 3D just now. And we're telling you all about it. So, what were your thoughts on Prometheus? I liked Prometheus. I, um, the biggest thing I knew going into it is that it was about the what, uh, it was about kind of the creation of life or the answers people seek to find out where we came from. And right away, that's a very, very ambitious thing to have. So I was kind of worried that it just wouldn't um, live up to its questions. Yeah. Uh, and it chose to uh, avoid living up to them by not really answering them, which in the long run is probably the best way to go. Um, yeah. It's a it's a hard it's a hard topic to tackle. I mean, because even if you do it right, and I don't even know what right is, but like even if you do it, you never really feel like there's a sense of completeness, or or that something has been answered because it's just one of those questions that that are almost like rhetorical. You know what I mean? It's just like you're not going to get an answer out of the whole thing. So almost like why are you even asking it? Why are you even going down this road? I mean, Other otherwise. <laughs> It, Otherwise, if you're wondering why we keep cracking up, it's because uh, we've got our partner in crime over here, a wonderful housemate and uh, a host, Mr. Adam Rod, who's hiding. <laughs> and, <laughs> and uh, you know, he just keeps trying to sabotage us. What is that on your head? I don't even uh, know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> He'll be doing that throughout Anyway, the video. speaking of visuals, uh, <laughs> the movie visually looks really, really, really nice. The 3D yeah. was actually... Um, not intrusive. It was actually it added to it. Yeah. Um, I I was a big fan. See, you're so pale, nobody sees you. So they, <laughs> yeah, you can't even see couldn't you. even see you. Yeah, you. Not yeah, nothing. Um, see, the thing is about the movie visually, um, it, it it it's very dark, gritty. You know, kind of that 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 style the director likes. Um, and when it came to the the gore and the violence, it it really like had a lot. In that department, I mean, I don't want to give any spoilers away, but there's a few things, and I'm a huge fan of gore. You know, Hellraiser, the old '80s slasher movies. There are a few things in there that I was just like, oh, oh, and I just I cringed when I saw it because it just it, it, it was it was very graphic and, and just very well done. Obviously, uh, you know, there's a scene where somebody's getting like a forced abortion from a surgery machine, and like, um, you know. They just show it slicing open her stomach and peeling it out. It's just like, oh, God. But, I, you know, I was impressed with how uh, gruesome some of those visuals were. Yeah, the movie was, um, you know, it was supposed to have, like, the DNA of an alien in it. And it was, it had that really, that the violence and, like, the horror aspect of it was, you know, it was there. Um, it was also very, very, very sci-fi. It was more sci-fi than horror, really. But it just yeah. had, um, so if you were comparing it to Alien, you would probably say it had more sci-fi than Alien did. Uh, and not as much horror, but it was pretty, some stuff was pretty horrible. Yeah, so. yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. As far as, like, story goes, uh, like I said, it, and I even said this on the ride back, I said it felt like, it felt like an episode of Lost, because more questions came about than answers, and then you had just a hard time even trying to answer those questions you had, and then you told me. That Damon Lindelof, who was the head writer on Lost, or one of the two head writers on Lost, uh, was one of the two writers on the screenplay for this, so it pretty much didn't make yeah. sense. So it, you know, kind of kept you really interested all the way to the end, like Lost did. And then for some people, like the way Lost ended, you know, some people were really pissed off, and some, yeah. you know, enjoyed it. Um, so I'm sure that's going to be the reaction, or it has kind of been the reaction for this, uh, which makes sense. Yeah. Um, minor spoiler alert: There's a, a scene after like the, what would be considered the end of the movie that kind of yeah. felt tacked on, just like the birthing of um, the alien yeah. thing, and it was just like, oh, did you have to put that there? Oh, I guess we are watching an alien precursor movie. Yeah, it was it was too, uh, the movie was very subtle the whole way through about keeping it in that, that universe, but not overdoing it. Mm -hmm. It felt, the scene did feel kind of tacked on and just kind of thrown in to please people that thought that they were going to see a prequel to Alien, which it really isn't. Um, but, uh, I, besides visually, and I, I did like that, uh, the movie moved along very, very fast, got, you know, got your money's worth. I probably have to see it again to get a whole scope on how I feel about it. Uh, acting was really good, mm -hmm. uh, especially, um, Michael Fassbender, who played the, uh, the android. 
Oh, yeah, um, he was awesome. He was the best one in the movie. Yeah. Um, the main actress, no, I don't know how to pronounce her name, it's Numi Rapace, or something like that. She was the original girl with the dragon tattoo. She was in the last Sherlock Holmes movie. She carried the movie, uh, carried it well. So she had a lot of help from everyone else, and everyone played their parts well. It was pretty, you know, well-known people. Mm-hmm. Charlize Theron, uh, Idris Elba, who played the captain, who was the... He was a bad the, mother. Yeah, Man. the gatekeeper in Thor. Um, yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, they were all really good. No, yeah, yeah, it was good. Um, enjoyed it overall. Uh, probably one of those movies you have to go back and watch a few times to kind of get the most out of it that you can. Um, and now I kind of just want to watch the movie Alien to make some cross references and like you know pick out things. A couple of continuity errors I noticed where she like popped her stitches. Remember after she got her uh, her uh, her like she surgery. She. She popped, yeah, yeah, exactly. It was the forced abortion. She um, <clears throat> she ran out. She had her thing. She had her stomach stitched and stapled. Yeah. And then she was running out into the hallway. And then the next scene they showed, they just showed like her stomach like hanging open without any of the staples. I and missed then, that. I and then they showed that. it again later with her stomach restapled. So I, I noticed that. that there was a there was a flub there. There was like one other one. I can't remember what the other one was. That was blood stain. Yeah. No, yeah. no, that I was her right. that was her he stomach. Said it was no. Blood stain, I agree. I think it was blood stain. I'll see. Uh, you have to watch it again for further review. So, overall, I enjoyed it. Um you enjoyed it? I enjoyed it very much. I probably on a rewatch, I probably enjoy it even more. Yeah. Um again, for its 2 hours, I thought it was a f- it was a, yeah. also you know, it's a big summer movie too. Summer movies are supposed to be, you know, a lot of fun. This one had the mix of being a lot of fun but also uh again, the ambition uh in it, you know, puts it I think at a higher rank than most of them. Um, oh, real quick, previews. The previews in the Previews movie. were terrible. Awful. There were like six of them. Ugh. And uh, the only one that I thought looked marginally okay was the um, the Total Recall remake, mm-hmm. which annoys me to begin with, but uh, I'll save that for a different argument, I guess. Yeah. That's what, what was there? there yeah. No, there was, um, there was there was a lot of just, just shit. That fucking dog. Oh yeah, that that stupid dog Disney movie, and I think I turned to you and I was like, I hate it when a preview has the entire like plot of a movie. A couple summed of them did. A preview. Couple of movies yeah. had the entire plot. Oh, yeah. the one one thing also, the one of the actors in the movie, Guy Pierce, who's who was in uh, Memento, was awesome in this. Uh, I saw him in the credits, and then he plays this old 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 man, and the guy appears in the first like half hour of the movie, and I wasn't sure if that was him or not. Uh, so I guess kudos to the makeup for for that. Um, but what I did figure out it was him. It was just I don't know. Um, yeah, so that's Guy Pierce. Anyone that sees it, cool. There's no point to that. Sorry. Uh, Adam, what did you think of the movie? <laughs> I I don't know if you can see him, but uh, yeah. <laughs> we wanted him to be in the review. He's like, I don't wanna. Oh, I don't wanna. I was like, oh, come on, man, it'll be fun. Oh well. That was kind of like Prometheus. Fun, yeah. but you don't know what's going on. Exactly. Um, frightening, too. <laughs> so tell us what you think. Uh, don't forget, leave a comment in the little gray box below. Like it if uh, you like the, the commentary or the, the video that we just put out. Or uh, if you didn't like it, please hit the dislike button and, and give us a lengthy response as to why. Or tell us to hop off some dicks. I don't know. Whatever you like to do. Or Yeah, just like that. Yeah, we got that on our last one, so that's okay. <laughs> All right, so... Um, We'll be back in uh, New York on Friday, uh, having a great time. Hope, uh, hopefully, those good times continue, and uh, we'll have plenty of stories to tell you about when we get back. So, so this is us signing off, all three of us. Peace. Goodbye.